can't forget the day we met Your eyes so blue, me piercing through I can't forget the day we met Your smile so bright, it made me swoon Our love is like a summer's day Hot sun and less in a magic way Whenever I see you, all I can think is My summer love, been waiting for you, my love My summer love, been waiting for you, my love I can't forget the day we met You look so fly in your red corvette Your hair, your look, your everything When I see it all, I knew that you were mine I'm in love with your hair, your lips Your silhouette in the moonlight shine With my love, you won't ever be alone Opal's not happy about it, but I stole the baby. Okay, I'm bringing the baby back to Opal. It's pretty cold out, but it I have him in my hands, so I've I've had the babies out at colder times. But excuse me for going sideways on y'all. Okay. So they're a few days old now. Look at that little one. Oh my gosh, she's probably cold. I gotta put him back. Let me get you a white one. Oh, it's another gray one. Look at that baby. Look at the berber. This one's white. Yes. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. Okay, I'll put it back. All right, Opal, Opal, I'm done. Oh, here's mama. She's a big girl. She doesn't like to be held very much. So she has red eyes. She's a purebred Californian. She's actually certified and has papers. She didn't like that. That was the first time I held her in a really long time, actually. So, oh, I love babies. I wish I could stay home all day and just cuddle them. It's kind of a cold day today. Um, so this is the setup. They're in this water barrel with the logs. And the reason I really, really am excited about this water barrel system is because I cut the hole about five inches up. And usually the biggest problem is when the babies start moving around and are able to start hopping around and exploring. I call that the little explorer time or phase, whatever you want to call it. But <laughs> um, like this setup right here, Sunshine's babies, they're just about there. And um, they might actually have some eyes open right now. But look at it. Oh my gosh. I can't handle it. Oh, look. Here's an eye. And they're all the same color. Let me flip you around. So, there they are. They're just gonna start, they're gonna be starting to uh, explore now. So I'm gonna have to figure something out. But they've been real good about staying in their nest. Usually a mama will um, pull one out during the first couple weeks, but I haven't had to save any of them. So she did really, really well. They're so cute. There's still seven of them. And um, I'm just so proud of Sunshine. She's such a good mama. All of her babies look like her mom. It's the weirdest thing. So, all right. Goodbye, babies. Have a good day. I'll see you later. Give y'all a little update. <clears throat> so these boxes are from one of my residents where I work. He gives me all of the um, food from the food pantry that he can't use. So the chickens, they get all kinds of food, bread, fruit, vegetables, salads, all kinds of stuff. But over here in the garden area, he is hiding, it seems like. But Samson, my buck, is in this one. I don't see him. Well, Samson's in here. And we had to put this these wood, or these uh, boards up because Tex was just getting really freaked out by Samson being in here. Yeah, I wonder where he is. Oh well. <laughs> Watch out, buddy. So this is the wood pile. 
it's about 40 feet long and 12 feet wide and this is what we have to get rid of using this this is our new fire pit I made this <laughs> excuse me and um, it's, it's not tiny it's not the biggest I guess it is kind of tiny but you know that was uh, one day's worth of burning and there's probably about three or four inches of uh, ash so that's gonna be going into the chicken area this is going to be the new garden area so all of the rabbits and the rabbit stuff is going to be moved out of here I'll probably get rid of all the hutches and um, my goal is to have Raleigh go into Opal's colony and then um, Gideon's colony will just be on their own inside of the garden area and all of these hutches are probably gonna get sold I might keep a couple but yeah and then I want to make this area there's a little bit of trash in it but I want to make this area either a greenhouse area or I don't even know. I think a greenhouse would be really good because it gets really good sun all day long and it's south facing. Um, but this is going to be the for sure new garden area. Now this is the reason that they are going to be going outside. Because now that Aria is um, strong enough, she can go with them. But now that Arya is in the mix, Mr. Man up there has decided to try to, I don't know if he's, I don't know what he's doing, but he's running around and chasing them and causing all kinds of anxiety in them. Not me, I'm fine, but um, she's freaking out and running around like crazy because he's trying to hump her and she doesn't want anything to do with it and he's trying to hump her. And then that just causes all kinds of freakouts in her. And we put the two girls together, and they did fine until Arya ran up to um, Catelyn, stomped her leg, and then ran away as quick as possible. And every time Catelyn calms down and relaxes and just lays down, she does it. So I had to separate all three of them. And those two. I can't. Those two are going to be in a colony together outside. Then Arya will stay inside. But right now, this is my prayer room. And I don't like it. So this Sunday, they're going outside. And he is very much not happy to be stuck in that little cage. But Arya has been in there for so long, he can handle it for a little bit. Thank you.